I play Nara, she's one of the colony members, and she's a survivor, and she's, but she's got a good attitude regarding the situations, considering, and she's she's eager to help and eager to be a part of the solution, so that's great, and uh, she's a she's a survivor. I don't want to give too much away so that you, you have to go and see the movie, Absolutely. but um, yeah, she's a survivor. She's a survivor for sure. You know, to be a part of something so huge like this, to be a part of something with such with, with such respectable artists as well, feels really, really great. I mean, I feel blessed. I feel really, really lucky to have had the opportunity to do this. So, I mean, on that front, I'm just going to say thank you, thank you, thank you to whoever is listening. Um, but to be able to bring a story like this to life, I mean, it's so great because I love, I mean, I love post-apocalyptic stuff. I love anything where the situation is life or death, as you know. Um, you've, seen, you've seen a lot of my work, and it's, and it's like, and I love, and I, I love to be push like that. I love to, to have to stretch what our psyches would, would would turn into when you're pushed that far, when you're pushed to, okay, so the world has come to an end. What are you going to do? Resources are low. Water is scarce. You know, food is limited. And it's it's hard to think. We, we love to think we would take the high ground. We love to think we take the moral road that leaves you going to bed at night with, you know, a clear conscience. But again, it's like the beauty of being thrown into doing a role like this is that all gets questioned. You know, and and then you're when you're given lines and a personality trait, so to speak, that your character has to follow, and you have to think along those lines, and you have to allow yourself to move in that world. You're not so sure that you would take the moral road. You might want to just survive. You know, and and that's just a realistic thought that that you would have as a person. So as an artist, it was great to be able to explore that side. And I mean, my friends all year have been like, "What's with you in the end of the world stuff?" And I'm just like. I know, right? Because I keep I keep recruiting people. I was like, you're on the list. You know how to you know how to hunt? Yeah, you're on the list. Okay. And you're funny, you're on the list too. You know what I mean? So right. so for me, I mean personally, if I if I had to try and survive in a world like this on top of it, as Lisa Berry, I would probably be looking to join a team. I'd be very walking dead about it. I'd be like, let's get a let's get our own little group together so we can feel good and, and help to try and keep a solution going instead of feeling defeated and like let's just end it all now, you know. You always want everything to feel a little bit like it could work out in the end. You know? That's me. that's me anyways. <laughs>